wanted to come to you guys and do a new video. This video is my girl talk series. I'm starting this girl talk series so I can come and talk to you guys. I'm in my room right now. Um, I've been thinking about doing a room tour for you guys, but I'm right in the middle of changing my whole house up. So, um, we'll see. I have some new things coming for you guys. But anyways, this girl talk video is 10 signs of a bad relationship. And I wrote some things down in my shiny book, if you're wondering what I have down here. So, I wanted to kick this off for you guys because it's a new year, it's 2015, you know, we want to leave 2014 behind us. And the only way that we could do that is if we be honest with ourselves and we start to let go of things that's holding us down. Like, dead weight, we have to let it go. Um, male or female, this is not just a video for ladies, so this can be the vice versa as well. The first thing that I want to talk about, guys, is the first sign that you're in a bad relationship is you keep your partner's actions and words a secret if you feel as though you have to keep everything a secret about your relationship then something's wrong you know what i mean it's it might be something that you don't want your mom to know or your sister or your friends because you know they're gonna be like what hold up he did what he said what she said what she did who you know like that's the first sign that you're in a bad relationship is when you have to keep everything a secret so if that's you it's time to rethink your current situation number two the number two sign that you're in a bad relationship is your partner always wants to change something about you. That is a big no-no, guys. If you're with somebody, they should love everything about you. Your hair, your nails, the way you burp, the way you fart, whatever it may be. It should be nothing that turn this person away from you. If anything, it should turn them on more. Like, oh my God, the way you laugh is like, makes me laugh. Like, it shouldn't be like, oh my God, the way you laugh is so annoying. Like, oh my God, can you shut up, please? This shouldn't be like that. So if you're with somebody that's constantly trying to change who you are, they don't like how you dress, they don't like how you talk, they don't like, you know, just how you deal with certain situations, just maybe you and your partner is just two different people, you don't agree on anything, and that just is a telltale sign that you're in a bad relationship. So rethink it. Number three. Number three. The number three sign that you're in a bad relationship is if you don't trust your partner and your partner don't trust you guys you cannot build a relationship without trust so with that being said whoever you're with you should trust you shouldn't have to go through their phone you shouldn't have to check their messages you shouldn't have to don't get me wrong you shouldn't have to but the option should always be there you know what i mean me and my husband what's mine is his what's his is mine we don't hide anything from each other and that's just how it should be everybody should be one big open book don't don't hide anything and don't lie about anything just keep it 100 and be honest if you always feel like your partner is lying to you about something or you always have to check around this person then that's a relationship that's built on no trust and no trust means no relationship so that's a dead end street if you're in a relationship and you don't trust whoever you're with you need to either check the person that you're with and see if it's something that they are doing which is the reason why you don't trust them or you need to check yourself because a lot of times we've been through a lot you know what i'm saying we've had people that cheated on us and lied to us so maybe you might be in a situation where you might be the problem but only you know the answer to that so just think about it number four this this one i don't even like to even think about but number four is your partner puts you down in private or your partner puts you down in public First and foremost, you better put me down in private, if anything. But, no, to be honest with you guys, your partner should never put you down. You should never say to your boyfriend, oh, my God, you look so ugly. Like, you look so fat. Oh, my God, you're a mess. Like, oh, my God, go get your hair cut. Like, ugh, you just irking me. Like, you should never say that to your boyfriend. Guys, you should never say to your girlfriend, oh, my God, when I met you, you did not look like this. Like, you gained so much weight. Like, oh my gosh like why are you wearing that you look a mess like you look like a hoe like you should never say certain things to your spouse male or female you know what i'm saying because you need to understand that certain things that you say it does hurt you you're hurting that person's feelings and love is not displayed by hurting someone you know what i mean like if you want to show that person that you love them you have to be nice you have to be genuine I mean, you're going to go through things, that's true, but just don't blatantly try to hurt their feelings. Not cool, guys. Number five. Number five is you don't feel like your partner's equal. 
Meaning, either you may be making your partner feel like you're the boss and everything you say goes and <laughs> you're in charge or your partner might be making you feel that way. Maybe your partner's older than you and you're younger so your partner thinks that they can control you and they're in charge of everything and that you have to listen to them but that's not the case, you guys. You have to understand if you want to be in a healthy relationship, you have to view your partner as your equal. Nobody is better than the next. We are both equal. We both equal to make decisions that we both want to make and we both equal to have our own opinions and it's cool to be different. You know, some things you won't agree on. But the main thing when you want to have a healthy relationship is you want to come to a common ground. You see this? This is the common ground, guys. You want to come to a common ground. Maybe somebody has to give in. Just think about it. Number six. You and your partner don't have the same goals or spiritual beliefs. Okay. So... Me, personally, I'm a Christian. Nothing personal against what anybody else believes. I'm totally cool with that. Believe what you want to believe. But I can't be with somebody that's Buddhist or Muslim or whatever. Just for the simple fact that I know that I don't believe what they believe. So it's going to be a clash there. You know what I'm saying? And when you talk about being together, you never think like, okay, we're going to break up tomorrow. No, you. when you think about being with somebody, I mean, at least you should. You should think about being with this person in the long term. So, if you both have two different beliefs, then what are you going to teach your child? That it's okay to just believe in a higher power or be half Muslim, be half Christian? That's, that's just starting off a life full of confusion. You know what I'm saying? So, you should be on the same page when it comes to your spiritual beliefs, and you should be on the same page when it comes to goals. You don't necessarily have to have the exact same goals, meaning, oh, when I grow up, I want to do this or that. No. You just need to both understand that in five years, we would like to be where? And what are we going to do to get to be where we want to be in five years? That's that's just kind of like the mindset you want to have being in a relationship. Okay, guys? Number seven. Number seven. <laughs> Number seven. Your partner says that they love you, but they does not show it. You're not showing it. You're just telling me you love me. I mean, it sounds good, but you're not showing me you love me. What you guys need to understand is love. L-O-V-E. Yeah, it's a word. Yeah, it has a definition. But the main thing about love is that it's an action word. It's not just something that you say and don't show. Like, you have to prove it to that person. You say, I love you, and then you go and cheat on this person, or you lie to this person, or... Whatever you may do that might not display love. You you got to constantly check yourself when you're in a relationship. Because some things that you do, you might be doing selfishly and you might not know. Maybe you really do love this person. Who knows? But you have to show this person that what you mean is the real deal. This is serious business here. You know what I'm saying? This is love. This, this is somebody's life you're talking about. So don't just say you love somebody. Actually show them that you love them. You know, buy them flowers. Buy them cars. You know, even for your for your male, like for your boyfriend, whatever. You can buy your boyfriend flowers. I've done it before. Ship it to their job. They get a personal card with a message. It's just sweet little things. You can send them a certain text message with a poem. Like write them a poem or sing them a song or just go Go out your way, like in the morning, you know your male or female is um, always rushing, your partner is rushing in the morning, so you know you make them breakfast before they head out. You make sure you have their lunch packed, or you make sure you have some dinner ready for them when they get off of work, because you know they're going to be tired, or just anything that you can do to display love, please do. That's that. Okay, guys. Number, my fingers is crazy. Eight. Eight. All right. The number eight sign that you're in a bad relationship is you feel bad, you feel guilty, you feel unhappy, you feel depressed, and you feel sad about your relationship. If you feel any of those things that I just mentioned, then that's a big sign that you're in a bad relationship. Don't feel bad. I mean, we've all been in a bad relationship. But if you feel sad, you find yourself constantly mad, your arms is crossed, your head is down, just nothing seems to be going right for you. Or you're just crying every chance that you get. 
That's a bad relationship. You're unhealthy. You should be happy. You should be smiling. This person, when you think of this person's name, they should just put a smile on your face. Like, you should you should have the anticipation, like, oh, my God, I can't wait till he get home. Or I can't wait till he come over. Oh, my God, I'm going to wear this sexy outfit. Or, oh, my God, I'm going to wear this. I'm going to do that. Like, you should always feel excited about the person that you're with. If you don't feel excited about the person that you're with, then something is wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Life is too short to be sad, guys. You really need to think about who you're with and how they're making you feel. Because at the end of the day... You need to love yourself enough to make yourself happy. And you need to love yourself enough to understand that if somebody's not treating you the way you want to be treated, then it's time to cut ties. Cut, cut, cut. Now, number nine. Your friends and your family aren't supportive of you and your partner. Now, okay, you don't want to face it that you might be in a bad relationship. So what we do is we say, oh, they just don't like him or they just don't like her. And I don't understand why. And they don't like anybody that I've ever been with. And you're being ridiculous. That's your family. That's your friends. And if you trust them to be your family and your friends, then you need to understand that they want what's best for you. And a lot of times there's things going on that we tell and they're looking at it outside looking in and you're inside the situation so all you're thinking is oh my god but i love her or i love him and you're not thinking with a clear conscience and every time your brain tries to think the right way you shut it down you shut it down because you want to believe what you want to believe you're not ready to let go of this bad relationship so you need to understand that if your friends and your family is not supportive of your relationship, then this person is not treating you the way that they feel that you should be treated. Because if you was with somebody that they felt was treating you the way you should be treated, then they will be happy for you. They should say, oh my gosh, I love seeing Alicia with this person. Oh my God, he make her so happy. Oh my God. Number 10. You and your partner, are you often or sometimes it gets physical? This is a big one, guys. Because if you're constantly arguing with somebody over the littlest things, or maybe it's, maybe whatever you're arguing about, maybe it is a big deal. You know what I mean? Maybe this person is cheating. Maybe this person is just lying. Or maybe this person is just being possessive and controlling and don't want you to do anything. And for no reason, they just don't trust you. Or you just feel so limited. You feel so sad and depressed. And you guys are constantly arguing. You can't get on the same page about anything. What do you want to eat? I don't know. What do you want to eat? Oh, my God. Well, since you want to go here and eat, why do we got to go here? So everything always has to be about... Every little thing is argument. That's a sign that you're in a bad relationship. When you're with somebody, you should be happy. You shouldn't be arguing all the time. And people have differences. But it shouldn't be a big, blown-out argument. All out of proportion. It should be something that you can end right then and there. Dead the issue. You know what I mean? Talk about it. Express how you feel. Come to an agreement. Somebody might have to put their feelings before the other. And that's what being in a relationship is about. So, if you're arguing with somebody, you need to look at the situation and say, wait, hello, why are we arguing? And if this is something that you're constantly arguing about, and even more, you have other things that you're always arguing about, get out of that relationship. It's not going anywhere. Also, if you get to the point where your, your arguments is getting physical, you're fighting, you, you, you're throwing things, and you're getting crazy and acting a fool, like this person just boils you your blood, ugh then you're in a bad relationship and you need to get out of that relationship. Whenever somebody gets you to the point where you can't control your emotions or your feelings or your behaviors, then you need to get out of that relationship. So with that being said, nobody should have to be abused. Physically, mentally, emotionally, any type of way you shouldn't have to be abused. And women, don't sit there and act like you don't abuse men because it's a lot of men out here that's being abused by women, that's being hit by them because you think, oh, he's not going to hit me back, so I'm going to just hit him. Like, no. Girls do it and guys do it too. Don't be a coward. If you love somebody, then show them that you love them. And I just want you guys to know that being in a relationship takes two. And if you love the person that you're with, Maybe you should sit down and write down the pros and the cons of being with this person. And if the good outweighs the bad, then maybe you have something to go off of. Maybe maybe it's just some things that you have to sit down and work out. But if the bad outweighs the good, then it's time to cut it off and let it go. It's 2015. It's a new year. We're excited about the new year. We're going to have a good year. We're not going to be crying and carrying on. We're not going to do it. So, I love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Ten signs that you're in a bad relationship. 
Do not be in a bad relationship. I'm coming back for you guys. I'm going to do another girl talk video, and I want to do 10 signs that you're in a bad friendship. Because some of these friends is no good for us. So, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. More videos to come.